in this video, we will be doing some very basic wheel fitment. I'll be using the IFS wheel fitment tool. It's about $65 online. The first step is to set up the tire height. I then use the included 12 inch tool to match up with the 18 by 11 rims that I'm trying to fit. I used some nuts and spacers to clear my brake caliper, since I didn't want to remove the caliper just for this fit up. Measure and set up the back spacing that you want to test, tighten down the tool, and ensure the tool is squared up properly. Because I used spacers on the studs, that length will have to be subtracted from the back spacing measurements. Install the tool and bring the axle up to ride height. Move the tool around and see where you need clearance. This is a common spot for rubbing. It will need to be hammered down for clearance. I removed my springs and put the axle all the way up on the bump stops. Even bottomed out, the 305 width tires that I want to run will not hit my fenders. And now for the front. With the tire straight, there's obviously no rubbing. Turning the wheel left to full lock and nothing rubs. Full lock to the right shows that a 12 inch wide tire will rub the ground effects. Some trimming of the back rocker area will be necessary. I hope you liked this very basic wheel fitment guide. It's meant to be more of a basic overview as every car is a little bit different and everyone's goals are different for their car. I'll be making a more advanced wheel fitment video soon, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching this video. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram for updates on new videos.